Okay, today we're going to be talking about two different types of archery releases. One is the wrist release or caliper release. The other is a thumb button release. One may not be better than the other, it all depends on the person. Some people have can shoot fine with a wrist release. Some people graduate from a wrist release to a thumb release and find that better. At the end of the day, it's going to be your own personal opinion. If you were to walk into an archery shop today or tomorrow and say, hey, I'd like to buy a bow, I want to get into archery or bow hunting, they will sell you something like this. Generally, when you get started, people tend to start off with a wrist release. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's uh, just different techniques that you need to use when shooting with a wrist release or a thumb release. We're gonna go over that today. So the nice thing about wrist release is that you have the security of knowing that it is attached to your body. It is not going anywhere as long as you have it tight enough on your wrist. You can most of these you can fold away in some way and keep it out of your out of your way when it comes to hunting and when you need to attach it to your string and away you go. There's different ways of using these. You can punch the trigger which is like a fast trigger pull which generally leads to less accurate shots. You can slowly pull the trigger to try and create a surprise release which works in some cases and or you can hook your finger around the trigger and pull back with your elbow and the muscles in your back until the trigger engages. Whatever technique that you decide to use, you have to practice at it to perfect it. When I started using a caliper release, the one I had, this one pops open fairly quickly, the one I had was kind of slow to open, so if I was to slowly pull the trigger, it would the jaws would slowly open, and that caused me to go through multiple D loops. They would fray, they would get all ripped apart because they were pulling, I mean, they were getting released before the caliper was all the way open, causing it to fray. I shot with a wrist release for a while. I did fine with it. Then I went and bought this Carter Wise Choice thumb button. I had heard good things about it. It was a lot of money, but for me it was worth it. It does come with a lanyard, which you can attach to your wrist, but for me, what I would do with this is I would attach it to my string and leave it on the bow so that when I needed it, I could just grab the bow, grab the release, and I was good to go in terms of a hunting situation. The downside with not attaching this to you is that if you own one of these, I can almost guarantee you, you will go through a period where you will let this go at least once. I personally have been there uh, when I initially switched from one to the other. For some reason, I don't know why, I developed this uh, habit where when I attached the caliper of my wrist release to the string and pulled back. For some reason I always wanted to flex my fingers a little bit. I don't know why I did that, it was just a habit I formed. Well that didn't work very well when I transitioned to the thumb button because when I did that the entire thing came out of my hand and took off with the arrow. Not in a necessarily a direction I wanted it to go. There's also times where you can grab this and this will be cold in the winter time and that shock to your hand can cause you to loosen up a little bit and you might lose your grip. So just be mindful when you're using these handheld releases, hold on tight. Know how much pressure you need and uh, do your best not to let this thing go because these are expensive, you don't want to replace these. So we're gonna go through how to use a wrist release first. I'm sighting in some new arrows today. Uh, old new arrows. These were 300 spines that I had around the house that I've just refletched. So I'm going to recite uh, my bow into these arrows because they are a different weight than the weight I was shooting before. These are 580 grains. Um, and we're going to shoot some shots on the bulldog target. 20 out to 60 and I'll show you uh, placement in regards to both releases and we're going to have some fun. So let's go. The wrist release, you want to make sure it's fairly tight to your wrist because it will pull 
a little bit there will be a little bit of give and you can adjust the, uh, the barrel here of the release you can make it longer or shorter depending on where you are you just have to try it a few times and see what works best for you you want to get your full finger around it that's the idea so find what works for you it's going to take a few shots to set it up and then you're good to go so with the caliper wrist release what you want to do is open it up attach it onto the string close it and the only way that's going to open again is if you pull the trigger so the best thing to do from what i've found in my experience is to keep your finger your trigger finger behind the trigger as you're pulling back okay this will cause you not to accidentally pull the trigger and have the arrow go flying off in a direction you don't intend it to go next is going to be your placement on your on your face your anchor point is going to be generally what i've done is i'll find the my jawline with my thumb and i'll sit in there and then my finger will come around over top of that so i'll show you what that looks like here draw back finger behind the trigger find your jawline with your thumb once you're set put your finger over the trigger and go through your shot sequence just like that let's do that again Attach it to your D-loop, finger behind the trigger, draw back, anchor under your jawline, finger around the trigger, and go through your shot sequence. Now. Going from one to the other, you may have to adjust your peep height because your hand placement with the thumb button is going to be different, which I'll show now. So when using the thumb release, you click it onto the barrel, I'm sorry, you click it onto your D-loop, hold on tight, draw back. Now with these, you're twisting so that the back of your hand is resting against your face, which is going to be different than what you were just doing before. So generally what I do is I will have my index finger and my middle finger will be going along the jawline. When you're ready, then your thumb will come around onto the barrel and you go through your shot sequence, whether you're punching the trigger, whether you're slowly pulling the trigger or whether you're pulling through your shot again. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but whatever you're doing, practice it and pick a technique. You draw back, you find your anchor point on your jawline, thumb goes on the barrel, and you release. This one is a quick to open. no real it's not like the caliper one that pinches this is just a hook that goes across and closes and then snaps open so when it comes to these two releases they're both very good I tend to gravitate now to the thumb button release I like that one better I find that I'm more accurate with it and I like how it's uh, compact it can fit in my pocket or I can put it on the string it's also very useful in a hunting situation, I have a nice barrel that my thumb is on and I can press the trigger slowly and time it properly if I need to make a faster shot and a more accurate shot in a hunting situation. So I do prefer the thumb button better, um, but to each their own. Some people shoot with a wrist release their whole archery career and some jump back and forth and some go to a hinge, which we're not even talking about here. So. Whichever one you choose, just practice at it and perfect your skill.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.